Road TV. Um, yeah, oh, bloody hell. Uh, uh, when it finished at the Den, um, Millwall 2, Stoke City 1. Um, what can I say about that game? I could say quite a lot about that game, but I'm not going to bore the viewers or anything like that. But I will say, um, first half, we got fucking bullied. We got smashed and bullied. and we, they, No no fucker was at the races. And um, I could criticise all them players out there to, at that first half, the first 45 minutes. And you think, here we go, same old Millwall, fucking win at Sheffield United. And then we're going over, we're getting spanked by um, Stoke. I, I mean, a big physical, big physical team. And um, they deserve to be 1-0 up uh, on their first half display. Um, could not that, it should have got in maybe 2-0 up. I know they've had a shout at penalty second half and things like that. We rode our luck a little bit. And then, um, oh, like I say, game of two halves. I did, in my pre-match thing, predict a win. And I go, I always say, Millwall way we're going to lose. But listen, on to the second half. Different gravy, innit? Different gravy. We went on the front foot, started to play a bit of football, and then I think he changed to 4-4-2. Matt Smith come on, the team grew in confidence. Ojo was, uh, like so I could, one of the players I was criticised in the first half, grew into the game. Billy Mitchell grew into the game, where he was like, he's non existent first half, but had an amazing, amazing impact second half, Billy Mitchell. Absolutely loved the performance, Bill. I think you're first class second half, absolutely first class. Ojo, again, was in the ascendancy. We got the uh, the equaliser, Bradshaw, fantastic. So pleased for Bradshaw to get that goal. And then we went two, we went two one up. Crowd was up for it and everything, and was all gung ho. And I thought we we're going to go three four, whatever. And then when we're in that descendancy, the lull come when he took Ojo off, and I thought, like my Joe said, I thought, what's the word about Ojo? He grew into game, and Joe said he had a bit. Of, he started to get a little bit of swagger about him. A little bit of confidence, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And then uh, we was on we was on the front foot, they was backing off. And you go, and then Rowett takes the decision to take Ojo off. You think, what, what what are you doing? Why have you taken it? We're in the ascendancy here, right? And then all of a sudden the game changed, we're on, we're on the back foot. And then later on during the game, he takes Jed Wallace off. And you're thinking to yourself, well, as a manager, I mean, I would never make them decisions. As a manager, you live and die by the sword. And he made them decisions. And if he lost that game or drew that game, we would have threw the book at him because he's the manager at the end of the day. He's the one that makes the decisions. And live, what I said, live and die by the sword? Yes, that is true. And then, like, um, listen, we held out. We held out for the win. And... Like I say, happy days, happy days. Um, I've got to pick out, normally I go for performances. Second half, this is not for, non existent for me, first half, but second half is between Leonard and Ballard, and both put in immense performances in that second half. But I've got to give it to Ballard. I think the guy I watched him today, I think he's immense and he's growing into a proper Millwall player. Absolutely love his commitment. And to be honest with you, I love the commitment for all the Mill players in the second half, yeah? So, first half, I was, I was really living, but second half, lads, every one of you was immense. But like I said, I'll pick out um, Ballard and Leonard for special praise. Billy Mitchell, fantastic second half. Loved you, mate. I've never been, like I said in the past, like slagging up Mill players. And I think I'm going on a little bit long now. It's because I'm a little bit happy tonight with the second half display. And listen, like I said, um, winning brings confidence. Three points brings confidence. You see everyone at the crowd bring, coming out the ground. Confidence. Everyone's loving it at the moment. We're on the brink. We're on the brink. And do you know what? Let's not mess it up. Let's go forward. Let's not go backwards. Let's get a little bit of investment. You know what? Come Christmas or around December, we will be in the playoffs, right? And the players will actually grow, grow more with confidence. And um, listen, it's three points for the Lions that I predicted, by the way. People say I'm a little bit mad. Yeah, I may be a little bit mad. But listen, it's Chinese for me tonight. I'm just going to have a few beers first in the old Witherspoons and Surrey Keys. But I'm Millwall through and through, as you all know.
Come on, you lions. Dan, can you edit this in and put it on the same uh, bit? Because I did say, I'd say like, um, get well message to James. Um, big Millwall fans, not feeling well today. Can you just put this in at the end of my video? Because I forgot, I'm sorry, James. But anyway, good luck, son, and get well soon. Can't wait to see you back down at the den. Come on, you lions.